if it wouldn't be too much trouble, don't want to put anybody out, do you think I could spend the night here? No trouble at all. I'll have them prepare one of the guest cottages for you. I'd prefer the barracks to be all right. You know, I'll be with the kids, life. You know. This could be educational for you. Uh, why don't you stay at Pershing Hall? Could have another little chat with Mr. Springer. Wonderful. I'll get someone to escort you. That won't be necessary, sir. I know where it is. Besides, I have to pick up something in my car. I'll tell Captain Loomis to expect you. Still investigating, Lieutenant? Oh, nothing important. Just a couple of little things. Well, when you get finished, how about giving me a hand? Case of the sinister cider. You know, I want to ask you about that. I don't understand. When I was a kid at camp, we always had cider. This is the hard stuff. Some of these kids, they bottle it up and they let it ferment in the night air. When I was a kid, it was patty razor. Morgan? Sir? Would you check room 2245 for Lieutenant Colombo? See that he's made comfortable. Yes, sir. Do you have a match? I don't smoke. I don't see Springer. The colonel has placed him on punishment detail because of the cleaning rack. Uh, you know, uh, Cadet Springer denies leaving the rag in the gun. Springer was responsible for the gun. That's sufficient, Lieutenant. Well, I'll leave you in Morgan's hands. If you need me, I'm quartered upstairs. Lieutenant? I hope this will be satisfactory, sir. If not, we have plenty of others. You have a match? No, sir. I don't smoke. There's a fresh toilet kit in this chest, sir. Towels are in the closet. If there's anything else, please feel free to call. I didn't expect a room like this. Problem, sir? No, these rooms are not what I expected. What is it, Morgan? Yes, sir. You know, I was in the Army myself, Morgan. We used to have one big room. Upper bunks and lower bunks, 50 guys, and half of them were snoring, and the other half, they were writing letters, so there was no privacy. Now, this is, uh, well, granted, it's not a dance hall, but it's private. I mean, if I had this when I was in the Army, I could have enjoyed it more. Well, I'm not sure enjoy is exactly the word you had in mind, Lieutenant. Listen, if you need anything, let me know. Um, uh, I wanted to ask you, Morgan, uh, about your new gym. New gym, sir? Yeah, I understand you're building a new gym here. Well, that's the first I've heard of it. The gym we've got's pretty new anyway. It's uh, only about seven years old. No kidding. No, sir. Well, I guess I'm mistaken. Yes, sir. Thank you.
Yes. Officer Corso? Yes. This is Lieutenant Colombo. Who? Lieutenant Colombo. We met today at the military academy, do you remember? Lieutenant, it's three o'clock in the morning. Yes, I hate to disturb you at this hour, but you said something today that's been bothering me. You know, I couldn't sleep because of it, and I finally went off, and now it just woke me up. What are you talking about? Those people out in, where did you say that was, Westlake? They reported hearing the noise. Isn't that what you said? Yes. But you know, they fire that cannon every day. How come they never heard the noise before? It was a very loud explosion. I know, that's what's been bothering me. Why is it so loud? Lieutenant, the gun never blew up before. I see. Well, I'm sorry I woke you. I'm sorry, too. Listen, go back to bed and get a good night's rest, and thank you very much for your help. so uh, I wouldn't be able to have a fresh pair for you until tomorrow. Uh, meanwhile, I'll check into it for you, sir. Yeah, I think I saw something like that on Cadet Springer. That thing hanging around your neck. What is that, like a good luck charm you fellas with? <laughs> no, sir, that's a pledge ring. Some of us have girlfriends over at Valley Stream. Well, Valley Stream is a girl's school, and that's a girl's ring. Yes, sir. You know, come to think of it, we had something like that in high school. I give a girl named Teresa an identification bracelet. I got it for my birthday. Yes, sir. You know, I run into her. Well, it must have been about eight years ago at a wedding, so she told me. She said she still got it. Well, I was pleased. I'll let you know about this box, Just one more thing. 